Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an API call in HTML, but we don't make API calls in HTML. We'll make them in JavaScript. So here I do have my HTML file and inside these script tags, I have my constant URL defined. So this is the API URL we're going to use in this example. Making an API call in JavaScript is as easy as using the fetch function. So just go ahead and fetch and pass it the URL that we created earlier. But it's not that simple. So if you want to do it properly, just follow the rest of this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is create an asynchronous function. And that starts with async keyword and then name your function anything you want. In my case here, I have make API call and create a body for your function using the brackets. So inside the body of this function, create a constant called result and assign it to the fetch function with your URL. Now, I don't have the time to explain how async and await actually work in JavaScript, but the whole point of creating an asynchronous function is so that we can use the await keyword on our fetch function. So I'm gonna go ahead and add await to the fetch function. Now, this will turn our function into a promise. A promise is something that returns at a later time, which is basically what an API call is. So that works great for us. So I'm gonna use the result and call the JSON method, which will convert our data stream to a JSON object. And then I'm gonna use the then method to actually extract it from the promise. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and print out this to the console and see what we have so far. So I'm gonna refresh the browser and nothing happens because we're not actually calling this function yet. So what we also need to do is go below this function definition and actually call it. To call a function in JavaScript, basically you just type its name and add parentheses at the end. So if I run this HTML file now in the browser, you will see in the console output, we actually produced the JSON object returned from the API call that we made. So here we have our JSON return and in our data current temp underscore F, that's where the API stores the temperature. And I'm going to output that temperature to console by using this simple message. So, and I'm gonna run this in the browser again. And so instead of the JSON object now, we're going to print out this message. It's 59 degrees in London. So guys, I know this is a little more complex than you probably thought, but let's go over the steps. First, create the URL, then create an asynchronous function and inside it, make a call to fetch and make sure that it's using a wait keyword. Now produce the result and convert that result to JSON and call the then method. So here inside, we're gonna grab the actual property from the JSON return from that API and print out the message using the data returned from that API call. 